you've just woken up chained to a table and forced to play a death game. But when each player must vote to execute someone before time runs out, what do you do? Everyone here is hiding a dark secret, and once the truth is revealed, you'll have a hard time choosing who should die first. I'm going to break down the mistakes made, what you should do, and how to beat the death game in Judge. Everyone here deserves to die. Seven people have just woken up to find themselves chained to a table with animal masks on their heads, and they're all about to play a death game. Panicking, they all try to break free, but can't escape their restraints. This man tries to remove his mask, but quickly realizes it's locked into his head, and in 17 minutes, somebody is going to be executed. Rabbit Mask here notices that they're being watched, and they all have a camera in the middle of their foreheads. The group is terrified, and nobody knows who anybody else is, but the man in the fox mask is disturbingly calm. By the end of the death game, this guy is going to kill more people than anyone else in the room. That's when Dog here finds a bruise on his chest, and the man recognizes it as a stun gun burn. Hearing this, the girl in the lion mask remembers how she was taken from her villa, and although she never saw the person's face, she has a stun gun burn, just like the man in the dog mask. Okay, this is not your typical death game. It's already clear that we're going to be competing to stay alive somehow, but even if we don't know the rules of the game yet, I know one thing for sure. We are all wearing animal masks to make us appear less human to the other players. This is a terrifying idea, because the less human we appear, the more willing everyone is to hurt or kill us. Nobody can see each other's expressions of fear or sadness, and that removes empathy from the equation. So this death game is perfectly staged for the most cold-blooded decision-making you can imagine, and that makes it all the more dangerous. Now, the other crucial detail about this game is that there are cameras absolutely everywhere. The only reason you would have this many cameras is if we were being watched for someone's entertainment. I would think of this as a virtual gladiator's arena, where if you're fun to watch, then maybe you won't be killed off quickly, but if you're boring or unlikable, then you'll be disposed of. Whoever is watching us wants to see something messed up, so this is a game where being as evil as possible might put us ahead, but first, we have to find out what the game is and what its rules are before we can exploit them. Suddenly, these screens on the table switch on, showing the uncovered faces of everyone in the room, but nobody knows which face belongs to which person. Dog Ear taps one of the pictures, and an electronic voice begins to tell them that the man in the photo is an unemployed shut-in. He became so violent and abusive to his mother that she decided her life wasn't worth living, and that man is someone in this room. Everyone is disgusted by this dark secret, and they don't know who it is, but that's when Bear Mask here stands up in a panic. He questions how anyone can trust this information, and the group begin to suspect that it's him. Trying to change the subject, he reaches over to tap another picture on someone else's screen, but nothing happens. The screens only work for those who they're assigned to. Cheating is out of the question, and the only chance they have to escape is to find out what the rules of the death game are. All of a sudden, they hear an alarm and see a help notification flash on the screen. Pressing on it, they're finally told the rules of the game. Rule number one, they all must vote to decide who has committed the worst sin. Rule number two, whoever gets the most votes is going to be executed on the spot. Rule number three, the person who makes it to the final round will be set free. The final rule is that everyone must vote before time runs out, but they only have 11 minutes remaining to decide who should be the first to die. Okay, beating your mother until she doesn't want to live is horrible and we all want to see him punished, but voting to kill him for it could seriously backfire. This game will soon reveal the worst thing you've ever done in your life, so if we are cold-hearted about killing others, we won't get any sympathy when our sins are revealed, and that's dangerous. I would first try to convince them that it's in our mutual interest to not listen to any of the sins because everyone in the room has done something terrible. None of us want anyone to hear the worst thing we've ever done because it makes it easier to vote for our deaths. By getting everyone to refuse the information, we remove a convincing reason to kill each of us and it levels the playing field. Now, this completely opens the doorways for death game strategy because whatever they learn about you from this point forward can be a complete fabrication. We need to make people like us so they don't vote to have us killed, and if we don't reveal the sins, they'll have no external source of information to judge you on other than your actions in this room, and it gives us more freedom to control the game. Pig here claims she's never committed any crime and that she doesn't deserve to be here, but with the clock ticking down, they all begin to discuss who they should kill. Rabbit Mask here suggests that the man should die for causing his mother's death, and everyone around the table considers her suggestion. Realizing he'll die if he doesn't convince them, the man confesses that he did beat his mom, but his abusive father was even worse. And since he was raised in a broken home, none of this should be considered his fault. Wolf Mask here is tired of his excuses and just wants the truth, but that's when he shows his true colors. 
throwing a tantrum, the man in the bear mask screams at the group, admitting that his mom died because of his abuse and that she deserved it because she was a bad mother. Okay, Bear Mask is making some terrible decisions. Even though his sin was revealed first, he still had a way to control the situation. With only one sin revealed, they have to make a judgment based on your word versus the computer, and there's no way to confirm the information. If he reacted like a calm and rational person by simply telling them that this information is false and has been made up by the death game to manipulate them into killing him, it might be enough for the players to doubt the information on the screen and second guess their decision to kill you. Instead, he started acting out in anger and through a tantrum, and that makes it easy to believe that he beat his mother. Now, by his reaction alone, he's given everyone enough reason to vote for his execution, so we need to figure out how to manipulate all of these players to make sure that they don't vote for you even after they learn what you've done to deserve it. If I were Bear Mask, the most obvious solution is to play everyone else's sins, because it will make it harder for them to judge if the worst thing they've ever done is out in the open. Since everyone has their own screen, nobody would be able to stop you from tapping every single profile and revealing their sin, as long as there's enough time on the clock to listen to them. The only problem with this strategy is that as soon as you play everyone else's sin, they will all know that the information is true, which confirms that Bear really did beat his mother and caused her death. So the strategy should only be used as a last resort if we can convince them that this information is a lie. With only 3 minutes left to make a decision, the woman in the rabbit mask tries to convince everyone to vote for the bear to die first, but the wolf here has a clever idea. He proposes that they should all vote for themselves and that way no one will be executed because everyone will receive one vote and it will be a tie. The man in the dog mask argues that they have no clue if this will even work, but the lion points out it's the safest play to make. With this man's life hanging in the balance and less than 30 seconds remaining, all the players cast their votes. The kid in the wolf mask chooses himself, and as the countdown hits zero, all the players are nervous to find out which of them will get killed. The results are almost unanimous. Five people chose to execute Bear Mask, and only one person voted for himself. Realizing he's about to die, the game triggers a mechanic sound coming from his handcuffs. He desperately tries to take it off, but it's too late. His head stabs back and he falls to the ground, becoming the first of seven people executed for his sins. Everyone starts to panic and try to break out of their restraints. Suddenly, the timer resets itself and now they have 20 minutes to execute another player and you'll be surprised when you find out who they pick next and the terrible thing they did to deserve it. Okay, things just got real. Bear Mask has died for his sins and we killed him. But this is what makes this game so dangerous. Every single player here has the ultimate weapon against you, which is their vote, but this can be taken advantage of if we play our cards right. The only way anyone can decide to execute you is by using their screens and tapping on your picture, but if they weren't able to use them, then they wouldn't be able to vote at all. According to rule number 4 of this death game, everyone must vote, so if we could prevent any of these players from being able to use their screens, it might eliminate them from the game. Everyone here is locked to the table, but these chains are still long enough to reach your neighbor's monitor. I would take my chair and bash it against the next player's screen to break it and kick away their chair so that they can't retaliate. Then I would encourage the others to do the same to the player next to them. This will create absolute chaos and it would all be to your benefit because the more screens that are broken, the more players are eliminated without being able to vote against you. The most likely outcome from this is that the fox can overpower the pig and break her screen and the dog will break the rabbit screen. But what's interesting here is that Wolf was the only person to vote for himself, which makes it more likely that he would hesitate to break someone else's monitor because his strategy is to keep everyone alive. Now Lion here voted to execute the bear when the wolf did it, which tells me she would be willing to kick away his chair and break his screen if she was fast enough. In a best case scenario, we could eliminate three players at once and since everyone is playing for their lives, it wouldn't be hard to convince the strongest and fastest in the group that this was the best way to guarantee they survive into the next round. Wolf Mask looks under his handcuffs and finds six metal strands have been inserted into his wrist. There's no way to remove them, and Lion Mask is so overwhelmed with fear that she collapses to the floor. The man bends down to ask what's wrong, and she tells him to get her medication. Reaching into her pocket, he takes out a pill and feeds it to the woman through her mask. Okay, this guy has a great opportunity here to eliminate another player. The fact that the death game let this girl keep these pills tells me she needs them to stay alive, otherwise they wouldn't have been given to her. Nobody else in this room was allowed to keep any of their personal items and the rabbit mentioned that even her contact lenses were taken. So these pills must be really important for her to keep playing the game. What I would do is take the pills away and tell her I would only give them back if she promises to vote for who I say. 
It's definitely not a nice thing to do, but in a death game, you have to take every opportunity that presents itself if you want to stay alive. Now, we can only pull this off if none of the other players know that I'm holding her pills hostage, but I would still try it because Wolf and Lion here are on the edge of the table and nobody can see what they're doing. If we make her an offer she can't refuse and do it quietly enough so the others can't hear, we can now control two votes instead of one. Wolf here confronts the others and accuses them of murdering Bear Mask with their votes, but they refuse to accept any blame for the man's death. Getting tired of the accusations, Dog decides to tap on the wolf's picture next to find out what secret he's hiding. The electronic voice announces that Wolf Mask was a bodyguard who abused his power and beat someone to death while he was on the job. The others call him out for being a hypocrite, but Wolf Mask defends his actions as self-defense. Dog here selects three different portraits. Dog Mask became the president of his company, but he was so jealous of his co-workers that he lied and cheated to put himself on top, with no consideration of the cost or whose lives he would destroy. Pig Mask here was working as a volunteer and was secretly stealing food from refugees. She put her desire to eat over starving families, and that makes her one mean little piggy. Rabbit Mask was a hostess of a gentleman's club. She slept with several of her customers for money, but destroyed her own marriage and lost her family in the process. She placed her selfish desires over everyone that needed her, and that puts her on this list. But what no one here realizes is that finding out Rabbit Mask's story gives us the perfect tool to get her on our side. We need to seduce her. Manscaped.com is the global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. They offer the best tools and liquid formulations for the big three odor zones, your body, butt, and balls. And after sweating in these masks all day, we're going to need some good grooming and odor management to make our seduction plan work. Their performance package 4.0 includes a lawnmower 4.0 waterproof electric trimmer with LED lights, wireless charging, and advanced skin safe technology, which reduces nicks and cuts on the most sensitive regions of the body, as well as the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray, and the Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. Gentlemen, these products are a whole new ball game. You can't go wrong giving your beehole some tender loving care. And for a limited time, you get all this plus two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. Go to manscaped.com slash howtobeat today and get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use promo code howtobeat at checkout. Thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Wolf Mask here begs them to do the right thing and vote for themselves so nobody has to die, and with two minutes remaining, Lion Mask suddenly recovers from her anxiety attack and offers to join Wolf in voting for herself. She presses her portrait on the screen to cast her vote and waits for the others to make their decision. The countdown reaches zero and it's time to find out which of them will die next. Okay, this is an interesting solution here. Having everyone vote for themselves is going to make it so that there are no winners and no losers, and the genius part of this strategy is that it doesn't break any of the rules. The game states that whoever makes it to the final round will be set free, but it doesn't say that there can only be one winner. This is an elegant solution to beating this death game, but it also presents a terrible problem. This room is full of crooked people who can't be trusted, and when everyone is scared for their lives, it's going to be impossible to get everyone to vote for themselves. It's important to realize that if you vote for yourself, all it takes is for one person to break the agreement and vote for you instead, and with two votes, it will be enough to get you killed. If we can't escape, then there's no choice but to play the game the way it was designed, and that means we need to influence their votes, but we can't do that unless we understand how they think. Now, we have reason to believe that these animal masks have meaning, or else they would all be the exact same. If I were the game designer, I would have given them all Dead Mouse and Donnie Darko heads for my own amusement, but whoever set this up went out of his way to select seven separate animals. They must have been chosen to represent their personalities, and seven is not an accidental number either. This connects perfectly to the seven deadly sins in Catholicism, and if we're the only ones in the game to realize the significance of this, we can figure out how they think, and all we need to do is look at their masks. A fox is both sly and a scavenger, so we might be able to assume that this man is greedy and scavenges off of others. He's an opportunist, and it tells us how to negotiate with him. As long as our interests are aligned, we should be able to rely on him to help take down everyone else, but he'll definitely stab you in the back once it suits him. Dogs are desperate for attention, which means he's most likely here for envy. I would try to make him feel important by asking his opinion on what we should do. If he feels respected, he will be less likely to vote for my execution. Lions are symbols of bravery, so the lion mask probably represents pride. Lions in real life, by the way, are actually lazy as hell. But it's not possible that the lion represents sloth in this game, because the bear mask who died earlier was lazy, and bears hibernate, so he must have been sloth. 
by using the masks to figure out what each of their personality flaws are, we should have more success in manipulating them without anyone noticing. The longer we hide from conflict and tell them what they want to hear, they will vote for each other's deaths. If we appear neutral and anonymously vote for others to be executed, we won't appear to be a threat to anyone and it's much harder to kill somebody that you like. They all look at their screens to find that each person only received one vote, and Wolf here is certain they're all going to survive this time. The group is relieved, but Pig here is furious. She demands to know who voted for her, and they all begin to realize that the pig did not vote for herself. She gets into a fight with the dog, and it becomes clear that while everyone else voted for themselves, Pig and Dog both voted for each other and are only alive by sheer luck. The countdown timer resets, and they have 5 minutes less than they did before, but that's when Lion here discovers that her mask has been unlocked and they can all finally take them off. Setting themselves free, the players all get to see everyone's faces directly for the first time, but this girl here looks familiar to them. Curious to learn more about her, someone taps her picture and an electronic voice reveals her secret. Lion here is a model that became too popular for her own good and couldn't handle being the center of public attention. But when she viciously lashed out at her fans and critics, posting horrible insults, the public was so offended that she got cancelled by the media. Rabbit here makes fun of the model for being easily triggered, but the pig sympathizes and tries to strike a deal, saying that she will not vote against her if she agrees to choose the dog to be executed for the next judgement. Okay, Pig here has taken this game into dangerous territory because she's starting to bargain with other people's lives, but there's a lot of risk involved by using this strategy. If we aggressively pressure people to execute other players, we'll draw too much attention to ourselves and that makes it more likely that we will be voted against later. We have to be very careful how we team up because on our own we have a 1 in 7 chance of dying, but by forming into teams, that risk is much higher because the votes become more targeted. Now, there's one exception to this problem, and this is the one time in the whole game that you could team up to kill someone without worrying about it coming back to bite you in the ass. The previous round showed us that everyone was willing to vote for themselves except for these two. This tells me it would be easy to convince everyone else in the group to vote for pig or dog here because they can't be trusted to cooperate. Since nobody died in the last round, the game has demonstrated that it's possible to survive if we work as a group, but the plan won't work without total cooperation. I would propose for all of us to vote for both Pig and Dog's execution and it lets me gang up with others to eliminate two other players without making me sound threatening or vindictive. I don't have to worry about getting negative attention or votes in the next round and we can all vote for ourselves through the rest of the game and nobody else will have to die. The Fox insists they all need to vote for themselves but the Pig refuses and decides it's time to learn about who this man is and what terrible things he's done to be here. She taps his portrait and they find out he was a life coach for the mentally unstable and got rich taking advantage of them making over 500 million yen from his scheme. They're all disgusted by his secret and as the clock runs down, they all cast their votes. The results come in and they're all shocked to find out that the pig and the dog will be executed next. They desperately try to escape from their handcuffs but it's too late. Dog here jolts in pain and falls to the ground dead as the woman collapses to the floor. That's now 3 players down and 4 remaining. Lion here demands to know why the others didn't vote for themselves and Fox tells them that he believes the only way out is to play for your self-interest and not as a group. A notification suddenly appears on their screens and when the girl taps it, all their chains drop to the floor and they've entered the next stage of the game. Searching the room, they all begin looking for a way out and Wolf here inspects one of the dead bodies. Lion tells him she will vote to kill someone in the next round and he thanks her for being honest, but this girl is a lot more evil than she seems. Soon she's going to have the perfect chance to sell them all out and nobody realizes she's about to become the most dangerous player in the game. Okay, this is a major upgrade because now we have a lot more options for how to play this game. Until now we were chained to the desk and our only options were to manipulate others and influence how they voted. Being free to walk around the room gives us the ability to find ways to take control of our environment as well. The first thing I would do is locate every single camera and try to block its vision. So far the game's audience has been able to see everything we do and if we take that away, it ruins the game for them. Now this could be incredibly risky because they might decide to kill all of us and kidnap new players but to me, it's still worth trying. With 4 players left, there's no guarantee that we're going to win and we need to start taking control of whatever we can to force the game to react to us instead of us reacting only to the game. Ruining the game forces the game's audience to decide to either warn us, kill us, or intervene and 2 out of 3 of those options have a higher chance of survival than voting to execute 3 more players. If the game designers decide to intervene, it might bring someone into the room and that gives us a chance to escape. Now the next thing I would do is inspect the dead bodies, because there's something we could learn from them. 
I would first try to find out more about these handcuffs and how deep these pins go into the wrist by pulling them out of the corpse's arm. If we see that the metal might be charred, then we can deduce that they were killed by electric shock. If this is the case, then there might be a way to short circuit the mechanism so that it can't be triggered. The dead bodies allow us to safely tamper with the handcuffs without accidentally killing ourselves. Foxer finds an automated door and can't open it, but Wolf here has a plan. Pulling on these cables connected to a circuit box, he rips one off and the power cuts out. Left in the dark, he takes out a light source from one of the animal masks and they work together to pry the door open. Walking out to explore, the group finds another locked door at the end of the hall and they try to get someone's attention by knocking on it, but no one answers. Fox brings over a toolbox and the wolf takes a power drill trying to bore a hole through the lock, but the drill bit breaks off. As Rabbit and Fox walk back into the main room, a light turns on and all the screens come to life. The power has been restored, and they've only got 8 more minutes left before they have to cast another vote. That's when the automatic door starts to close. The players try to hold it open, but they're not strong enough to stop it. Wolf and Lion are trapped outside with no way back in, and if they can't get it open, in 7 minutes, they're both going to die. Rabbit taunts them through the door that they won't survive, and Lion starts to panic. She knows they have no chance of getting back in, but Wolf here has an idea that might just save her life. Taking the flashlight camera, he picks up a blade and slowly begins to saw away at her handcuff. Okay, this is really scary. Wolf and Lion here can't get back in, and if they don't vote, they might be executed by the game. This is perfect for Rabbit and Fox, because they can both vote for the others to die, and they won't be able to do anything about it. Now, ironically, if this happened, the game would actually get a lot harder. If the game ends in two people, it will be a permanent stalemate, because there's no chance that with only two people left in the game, someone would vote for themselves. They'll continue to vote the same every round, and the game will go nowhere. This makes it highly likely that they will introduce a new rule in the final round, and since the clock gives them less time after every round, we will have very little time to consider how to strategize if a new rule is introduced into the game. To prevent this situation from happening, we need to find a way to end this game in a single round and kill three people at once. And luckily for Fox here, there's a great way to do that. When they were out in the hallway, the group found a toolbox with a steel wrench inside. I would have taken the tools with me into the other room and used this wrench to shatter every single voting screen except for my own. Since we saw earlier that another person's screen cannot be used by another player to vote on, this would make it only possible for one player to vote in the next round. And since one of the rules states that every player must vote, they would likely all be executed. With two players stuck outside in the hallway, this is even easier to pull off, because there's only one person to try and stop you, and Rabbit here doesn't have the physical strength to prevent it from happening. Fox realizes that if one of them takes off the handcuffs, they'll be the winner, and he will still have to vote. Thinking quickly, he tampers with the power box and opens the door to let them both in. With 15 seconds left, Wolf and Lion walk back to the table to cast their votes. The results come in, and Rabbit has been chosen to be executed. Shocked, the woman begs for mercy, but dies and becomes the fourth victim of the death game, and now there are only three players left. The timer resets, and they now have five minutes left to vote for another execution. Wolf here tries to figure out who voted for Rabbit and realizes it was Lion and Fox. He asks her why she voted to kill her, and she claims she didn't, but when the man walks over to her screen, he finds a bloody fingerprint over Rabbit's portrait. Lion lied to him and broke his trust. The girl defends her decision, saying that the Rabbit was going to vote for her, and if she voted for herself, she would be dead. Realizing she's right, Wolf suddenly takes the saw and continues to cut at her restraints. He finally cuts through the cuffs, and Lion is relieved that she's free from the game. Fox here takes the saw and begins cutting at his own restraint, but that's when Lion shows her true colors. She asks them what would happen if she voted for one of them now that her handcuff is removed, and it shocks them both. Okay, Lion here is not as innocent as she seems. She voted to kill both the bear and the rabbit, and she might decide to vote again. This is bad for us, because now she won't have to worry about retaliation, and that makes her unpredictable. This isn't the only bad news either. We saw earlier that it took over 4 minutes for Wolf to cut through the girl's handcuffs and since the time on the clock gets shorter in every round, we won't have enough time to cut our own handcuffs off from this point on. That means we will have no other choice but to play the game. Fox and Wolf should both vote against a lion here because without her handcuffs she's free from the game so there's no risk to anyone. This seems like an obvious decision and that's exactly why we can use it to do something really unexpected to win. If I'm Wolf here, I would first pretend to vote for myself. Fox is most likely to vote for Lion because she's free from her handcuffs, and Lion is most likely to vote for Fox because he's an a**hole. 
Once they've made their vote, I would reveal that I haven't actually chosen yet and look at their screens to confirm who they voted for. If Fox has a single vote, I would tip the scales and give him a second vote, ensuring that he gets executed. The best part about this strategy is that it will help us win the next round too, because when there are only two people left, it's going to be much safer to play against Lion. If she thinks she's free from the death game, then both votes can go to her, and this way we can both win and escape with our lives. The remaining players all cast their votes, and when the results come in, they see that both Wolf and Fox voted for the Lion. Hearing a whirring sound, she panics, and they all realize that removing the handcuff did nothing to save her. She crawls on the floor in terror, and suddenly jerks back, clutching her throat as she becomes the fifth person to die. Now there are only two players left in the death game. The timer resets itself, counting down from three minutes, and their handcuffs suddenly unlock. Both men toss their restraints to the floor, and Wolf insists that they can both survive the next round if they trust each other once more and vote for themselves, but Fox here mocks him. The man points out that with only two players, it's clearly too dangerous to vote for yourself, and he'll have to vote for his opponent if he wants any chance to win. Suddenly, the screen starts flashing, and Wolf sees they're both getting hundreds of votes from the viewers of this death game. Wolf is going to lose, and he realizes there's only one way left to win. He chases after Fox and brutally beats him unconscious. That's when he has an idea and grabs his own handcuff, pressing it against Fox's neck and kills him with it just before the countdown reaches zero. He's the last player alive, but to his surprise, the countdown restarts. He rushes to the tables and sees a new round is in progress. This time, the viewers are voting on whether he should live or die. Furious, he punches the screen and breaks one of the cameras, and as the countdown reaches zero, his judgment has finally come. But what do you think? How would you be judge? Let me know with a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, leave a like and subscribe, and check out the How To Be playlist for more videos like this. Until next time, have a damn good day.